Hello, it's Penelope from Aging Disgracefully. Today is Tuesday and um, I'm talking about kindness because one of my favourite sayings is it's better to be kind than to be right. And if you hadn't noticed, there are an awful lot of people out there who are right. And you can start everything, start your day, continue your day, walk down the street, meet people, greet people with a smile. A smile, I know I keep talking about it, but a smile raises your energy and it raises everyone else's energy as well. And we're born into this world with a lot of energy, so why not use it? If you're feeling miserable, if you're feeling angry or upset, if you can physically smile, so bring those little corners up and physically smile, you will feel better because your brain doesn't know that it's just the physical action of smiling. It thinks you have something to actually smile about. So smile, please. Stop being judgmental. Judgmentalism is something we really don't need. When you see homeless people, when you see people living on the streets, all sorts of, of, of things that other people have to deal with, please don't be judgmental. You don't know why they're there. You don't know how they got there. You don't know what triggered the action that caused them to move to nowhere, basically. Again, remember, smile at them, please. Smile at everybody. Buy them a hot coffee or a cold drink, depending on where in the world you are, and sit and have a chat with them. You'd be surprised at how interesting some of these people are. If they have a dog with them, please take the dog some food. Be kind to the dog as well. I mean, truly, it's... Um, um, if you are carrying what I call old wounds, things that people said to you 10 years ago or 20 years ago or even 50 years ago and you haven't moved on, you really need to do something about it. If it's family, particularly, you only have one family. Now, they're either blood family or they're not blood family, but... At the end of the day, if they are blood family, you have something in common, if only your genes, your genetics. So move on. Don't carry old wounds with you because it's doing no good to your energy level. It can make you bitter. It can make you twisted. It can almost stop you smiling, but I hope not. And it does nothing for anybody else. It doesn't stop the world turning. It's just a waste of energy and time. So stop it immediately. Build a bridge, get over it. Um, because it's important to remember this is not a rehearsal. As far as we know, and nobody's come back to tell us any different, this is it. So it's about living your life. Get on with it, really. Um, if you don't speak to your neighbours, that's another thing. Speak to your neighbours. Drop half a dozen mince pies on their front door with a little card saying, I hope you have a lovely holiday. It's no skin off your nose. It doesn't hurt you. And it may well stimulate or, or um, start a relationship that could prove to be of benefit to everybody, especially you being kind again. And also, um, don't be a vegetable. Live your life. If you're alone, if you live alone, if you don't have any friends, if you don't have any family, then it's up to you to get out and meet people. Most councils, a lot of organisations, the Sally Army, a Red Cross, they all organise things, especially at Christmas. So being alone becomes a choice. And if you don't enjoy it, and if it doesn't make you smile, there we are again, then stop it. Get out there, meet people, find out how fascinating others are, and let them find out how fascinating you are. And if you don't think you're fascinating, borrow other people's stories to make yourself fascinating. It's about walking the walk and talking the talk. 
And you can always tell people that's what you did later down the track if you want to. I think that's probably all I'm going to say. Now, if um, you're a religious person, then at Christmas, uh, most religions will preach love and gratitude. Most religions preach love and gratitude all year round, even though their actions may not seem to do that. Um, perhaps we all have to be able to see the other side of the actions and understand that what they feel is not the way they behave. We hope. Anyway, um, yes, I, I do hope that you will take note of this and perhaps decide that kindness is better than being right. I know a woman who is very right. And if you say in the morning to her, oh, the sun is shining, isn't it a lovely day? She comes back with, oh, yes, but rain is forecast for later. And that's how she says it. So this is not a happy woman, not very smiley. You don't want to be like that. You want to be the smiley person because it's easier for you and it's less wearing on your nervous system. Let's face it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I will see you again anon. Bye bye.